It's a very good afternoon and welcome to the Barberfield Stadium in Malawi. A dynamo sticking on FC Platinum. It's uh, the Castle Malaga Premier Soccer League mission. Right, but then now we've seen FC Platinum being the new kids on the block. But then in terms of fan base, dynamos still enjoying. try and come up with sporadic attacks like what we've witnessed in the last few minutes or so from Mudadi. Keith Madeira putting Jalai under pressure but good play and good thinking by Mudadi. That should be happening Howard because it's a very tactical game. So Davos getting a free kick on the edge of the box. Keith Madeira being fouled there by Rin Sampalari. Good spell for Dynamos. Oh, the yeah, at Barberfield, very same. And so let's see, let's see how this one will go. So Kevin Moyer, left footed player, onto the ball, and he lives in a shot. Yeah. Uh, very unfortunate, I must say. I, I, I would say if you two one winners of Black of Black Rhinos, but there was a lot of talk around the two goals that Dynamo scored because there were two late penalties and uh, the second one was uh, he scored a free kick last uh, season here against Highlanders it was on the other side it was 2-2 right at the death FC Platinum got a free kick and he went for it and with that it was the last kick and they won by three goals to two so will they be able to open the scoring from here Great footballing brains they've got, Musona. Let's see how this one will pan out. Musona! This one was Mbretti. The cross. Not really the stuff that excites the fans. But it's a throw in to the Platinum Miners, which they will take quickly. Oh, Makanda is down on the far side. I think it got a little bit of a knock at last time he was uh, making that dash on that left flank. You see, th there it is. I think uh, he was hit by the ball right on his face, and uh, he's got to ask for some uh, attention from the medical personnel coming through. So, 40 minutes, how it got. Use Barber Fields to their advantage. They obviously need to travel less and uh, <laughs> to get, just getting to fly, jumping onto the, onto the jets. Will obviously be able to give them that plus because of that good return they've managed in their previous matches. Kit Madeira now for Dynamos. Madeira and in the end, the ball just rolling out on that far side. But you really need to have a cool head. Banda onto Mutimba Nyoka. It's put down. I'm going to see the first yellow card of the afternoon going to Kevin Moyo. Putting Mutimbanyoka down. Behind the ball, Walter Musona. No more Chinyere. Tafira Muta with a wall in front of him. It's going to be Musona. Musona, and the wall does its job. And Chinyere hoofs it towards goal. Very disappointed. Oh yes, he hasn't got the best of games in this one, but for him to, to be, for that to warrant a substitution, not too sure. So a shot, easily dealt with, and Dano was with an opportunity on that far side, Madeira. Oh, he was a tad too slow, Madeira. So you be very careful in this instance, very, very careful. And Tafire Mutsa does well to cling on to the ball. Kevin Moyo. And to Shandirwa. Denver Mukamba. Please have that, that bite. Because you're playing at home. Yeah. 
it, it's not that they're away. They are playing at home. So Dynamos has to get three points from this game. Denver Mukamba behind the ball. Elvis Moyle as well. But you're going to feel like it's going to be Denver Mukamba. Well, rewind back 10 years ago. And it's Mukamba. Oh, he took it casually. For either of these two to get a goal. Regulation time. Moyo crosses into the box. An opportunity! That was a good opportunity. And why was he running away from the ball? Instead of just cut across it. Look at that situation. Like he was running away from it. And Dan was managing to get it away. And a shot! Oh, he was very close, Jarison Salamani. It was going to be something else. And it's saying, how much? It's, it's just something it's probably the last kick and yes it is goal is a draw in this game here match day number 14